In this video, let's learn what is inner or dot product of two n vectors. See here that you have a vector xt and a vector p. What is a vector? Vector is an array of numbers that is arranged in order. See here that you have one row and the n columns, and here you have n rows and the one column. That's why we use here xt, t is the transpose, and here in the p there is no t, no transpose. We can only multiply x times p if the n column here match with the n rows. Then we get x1 times p1, x2 times p2, and xn times pn. Now, let's import numpy as any p and create a vector x, numpy array minus 10, 0, and 10, and the vector p, any p dot array 0 0.1, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. Now let's calculate the inner product between x and p, and you get 4. What we did is 10 times half, 5, and minus 10 times 0 0.1 minus 1, then you get 4, because 0 times 0 0.4 is 0. Now let's calculate the inner product of vector p times x. You just switch the order, and you get 4 as well. See that in mathematically, to multiply x times p, you have to put this t transpose in the first vector. If you want to switch the order p times x, you need the t the transpose for the p here. Keep in mind here, you do not indicate the transpose to numpy, and the numpy automatically make this transposition for you and get the, the result for. Other way to do the dot product is just use the at x at p, you get 4. Now, let's multiply 1 times p. But note that 1 here is not a scalar. 1 is a vector. 1 is this vector here. 1, 1, and 1. That means dimension 3. This notation here is just sum up all the p's that's here that will be equal 1. Then we do numpy inner 1's in the p, you get 1. Now, let's calculate the inner product of two vectors, 1 and p divide by a scalar n. See that this is the mean. See here that you can visually distinguish what is a vector and what is a scalar. But in some books, you not put the vectors in bold. And then you have to understand the concept because the notation varies from author to author. Let's get the shape or dimension of p, that's 3. Then we divide 1 by 3 and you get 0 0.33. Now, Let's define the sum of the squares using vector notation, that is, x transpose times x. And let's calculate this. This is 200, because 10 times 10, 100, plus 10 times 10, this will be 200. Why you should learn vector notation? Because all advanced books in econometrics, machine learning, optimization, simulation, or whatever field, they use vector matrix notation.